We're always asked here at Unique Glass Colors about how to mix colors, what's the application look like, what do they look like when they're fired, what do they look like before they're fired, how do you know if you've got the right amount of color on. So this, in this little snippet, we're going to show um, mixing color, applying color, and I'll answer all of those questions. All right, I'm going to start making sure that I've got medium. And one of the questions that we're asked a lot is, can the medium, can you use water instead? Well, if you use water, there's of course you can use water, but it's going to be very thin and your application is not going to be correct because the medium as well as making it stick to the surface also provides a body and you'll see it kind of, it, it, it creates depth to the color and this is going to make it give you much more opaque color. And today, that's what I'm going to be showing you is how to, how to make the color be opaque. So I'm going to take medium and today I'm using baby blue. So this is one of our NT colors. NT just simply stands for non-toxic. Now we never mix all of our color in a jar. We always put some out into another jar. I'm not going to need much today. Put the lid back on because now I'm going to have wet color here that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to have the dry color that I can actually use for sifting, for sprinkling, for doing all sorts of other techniques or if I get this too mixed too thin, I also have some powder to be able to come back and thicken it up just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side. This is baby blue, and just to let you know, this is what baby blue looks like. Let me get this, bring this down. This is what baby blue looks like when it's fired. So you're going to be able to see what it looks like unfired and fired. So we say to you that, that you want to mix the color one to one. That means one part of medium to one part of color. All right, I kind of look in there, and you'll get to know after a while. I give it a good squirt to start. Okay, and this is medium, and it comes in two ounces, which I'm using here. Comes in eight ounces, um, four ounces, and gallons. All right, depending on what you're what you're needing. Now, what I'm looking for, and I'll show you this on camera in just a second. I'm mixing. Can you see that coming up here? Okay, that kind of looks like thick pancake batter. I'm looking for melted ice cream. Now I know that that's kind of a subjective term. What do you think like melted ice cream looks like? But it just should be thick enough to run off. See how that is still, can you see that? It's just dripping off there so it's still just a little thick. So now I'll be gentle and I'll only add one or two drops because our products are called Thixotropic. This is my one of my favorite words. Once it sits on the shelf for a little bit, of course, the pigment is going to settle down to the, to the bottom of the jar um, because we're not a paint, we're an enamel. So when the pigment settles down to the bottom of the jar, you're going to have to get in there and you look in there and you think, uh-oh, I'm going to have to add liquid to that. Don't add liquid until you stir it up because the act of stirring, that's what thixotropic means. The act of stirring will um, uh, liquefy the product. So I'm going to set the medium off to the side. Now, can I look at this? Look at there. Oh, what a lovely little dripping. It looks like whole milk with sugar and eggs and all that kind of, of ice cream. All right, so I'm good to go now. I'm going to apply this with a 5 ot script liner. It's called, we sell uh, my line of brushes, Marco's Miracle Brush. Oh, I never introduced myself. You can't see my face. I'm Marco Clark. I'm one of the owners of Unique Glass Colors. And what I'm doing here, because I want to show you, is I'm making color chips. Each one of the color kits that we sell, um, you get a color chip, a fire color chip in it, so that you see what that color is supposed to look like. So I'm working on these right now. So uh, this is there. This is this is our dark blue. So that's what it looks like, unfired and fired. Dark green, unfired, fired. I'm going to add. This is vanilla, unfired and fired. And now I'm going to go ahead and add this baby blue right into that little section. All right, so let me just move things so that you can see me applying the color. Okay, so you're using the brush here just as a tool. You're not using this as a paintbrush. If you paint this on, all you're going to do is get streaky color. You're not going to be happy with that. We tell you that you need to puddle, push, and pull. All right, so I'm going to scoop up some color and drop it onto the surface. Drop it onto the surface. Can you see it moving? Let me see if I can get that camera to come just a little bit closer. Give me a second. 
this is the important part. Okay, oh, there we go. I think that's good. All right. Now, see, all by itself, as I dropped it on, you see it moving? Now, I'll drop it. Let's put a little more on there. Okay. Now, when we say puddle, push, and pull, there's your puddle. There's a little place there I need to push into place. I'll continue just dropping it on. Now, you see me moving that color around? The brush is in the color. The brush is not touching the glass. Then you're going to paint it. And I'm not sure if you can see how that the edges. Let me back. The edges of the color right here are actually standing up. I don't think we can. Let me see if we can, see how well we can get that on camera. You can see some little edges there. If it's mixed properly, it will self-level. Can you see how nice and shiny that is, and nice and smooth? So that is the application that you're going to do if you want solid, solid color. Let me move these off and rip my brush out for a second. And I use, you can, you can use a toothpick, you could use uh, whatever you want or two. I use this because I can control how much is dropping on there, and then I can, you see that little fine point in there? And then I can use that to push and pull that color into place. All right, now, what you're aiming for here is a big chip of dark blue. Let's pull both of them in here. And a chip of, of, of uh, warm brown, okay? Color is very solid. On our website, we've got color chips of all the colors that we have. And there's a little piece of glass on top. What this tells you when you're looking at them is what that color looks like capped, what the color looks like uncapped. We go, our color goes on COE 83 to 96. So we get a lot of questions too about, well, how, what do I fire this at? Firing is from 1425 Fahrenheit to 1550 Fahrenheit for glass. However, the color will fire all the way up to about 1800 degrees if you want to boil glass. Do something like that. But 1550 is where your glass is going to stay stable. Um, this is, happens to be on float glass because we do a lot of samples, a lot of testing, so we just use float glass. But you can use any glass and you're going to fire it according to your glass and your kiln. Our color is going to be fine from 1425 to 1550 if you want some nice solid application. In other little snippets, we'll be going into how to use it as watercolor effects, how to do other things with it. But here, you want to make sure that it is um, solid. And I'm going to take this back to here just a second. I hear a frog. I think we have a frog here in my studio. So that odd noise that you hear, I have a little frog somewhere. Now watch the difference if I paint that on because we think, well, you know what? If I don't put quite so much on, I can make that color, color go a lot further. All right, you see the difference between those two? This is going to, uh, some of that color may burn off because it's so thin. You're going to get a very streaky application and you are not going to be happy. So no painting. I can't really show this on camera, but if I was going to check this, I would lift this up and I would look at it from underneath. This is going, oh, that might even look streaky here on camera. This is going to be nice and solid. That's going to be streaky. What you see from underneath is what it's going to fire to. So good application, puddle, push, pull. Color is mixed one to one. Use the tip of the brush without touching the glass. Okay, I think that finishes me for today on this, uh, on how to mix and apply our NT color line.